Driverless cars may solve pressing transportation problems. They can drive closer together in lanes to reduce congestion, and they can be designed to emit fewer pollutants than traditional vehicles. Multiple countries have either deployed autonomous vehicle projects or are currently in the process. Japan, Singapore, and Germany have already run test trials, with Sweden soon to follow. Vendors include Google and a host of commercial automakers, including Audi, Nissan, Toyota, and Mercedes-Benz. The United States hosts multiple driverless car projects, and the United Kingdom will launch its own in 2015. Engineers in the General Motors Carnegie Mellon Autonomous Driving Collaborative Research Lab modified a Cadillac SRX for testing in Washington, D.C. this summer. They installed cameras and sensors to detect lights, pedestrians, and read road signs. Drivers had the ability to take control when the car ran into situations the computer system couldn't handle. Last month, California issued 29 permits to companies that allowed them to test drive autonomous vehicles on state roads. Google won 25, and Audi and Mercedes-Benz won two each. Google's driverless cars project includes units with cameras that record external visual cues like stoplights, a LiDAR laser that maps vehicle surroundings, and radar sensors that detect nearby objects. This information is sent to Google Chauffeur, a computer that drives the car unless a user takes control. In the United Kingdom, the city of Milton Keynes gave $1.5 million to a project to test driverless cars. The Transport Systems Catapult Organization is managing the project and will deploy electric self-driving pods, which will carry up to two passengers on pavement at up to 12 miles per hour. The government hopes the cars will reduce congestion and avoid hitting humans. And if the 2015 trials are successful, up to 100 pods will be deployed by 2017. Driverless car technology may need improvement to be able to handle busy environments. Scientists at the 2014 Automated Vehicle Symposium told the MIT Review that they expected self-driving cars to function primarily in well-controlled environments with low speed limits, traffic, and few surprises. Human drivers anticipate driver behavior based on other vehicles' movement and eye contact with pedestrians and other drivers, but a computer may have trouble doing the same. For more technology news, visit GovTech.com.